welcome back to Missalene. So today we're going to be doing something that we haven't done in a while and we're going to do a cooking video. So we're actually going to be doing a couple of recipes today. The main one being the, let me see what it's called, the Applebee's Bourbon Street Chicken and Shrimp Recipe. And then the other thing we're going to do is just like a basic garlic mashed red potatoes recipe. So um, I went ahead and I got my shrimp out of the freezer and I got it just de-thawing. And then I am about to go ahead and chop up my potatoes and get those boiling so that way we can get that done. Because that's going to be probably the two things that are going to take the longest. So the recipe calls for eight, but I'm just going to do whatever I have here, which I'm pretty sure is nine. And I'm not going to listen to any skin on, skin off debate because uh, real mashed potatoes, skin on is just, I like them both ways, but there's just something about skin on mashed potatoes. That's great. Fight me in the comments if you want. So basically we're just going to cube them up so they cook a little faster and then hopefully not slice our fingers and cut out any bad spots that we find. So. Okay, so now I'm going to I'm gonna cut up three cloves worth of this. Um, I think one full pouch is a clove. Anyways, I'm gonna cut up three cloves worth of garlic and I'll put that into the pot of boiling water with the potatoes. Now we are going to take a small bowl and we're going to whisk together Cajun seasoning, brown sugar, and salt. It's going to be a fourth cup Cajun seasoning, two teaspoons brown sugar, and then one teaspoon of kosher salt. Well, that's not going to happen because I didn't bring that. Okay, so apparently you're supposed to have um, basically let the chicken and the shrimp marinate in the dry ingredients I just put together, but, uh, as for everything on my channel, I don't do my research and, uh, I didn't actually read the recipe until just now. So we're basically just going to coat them and then they can marinate until they go in the pan. So maybe like 10 minutes. So now we're going to go ahead and put probably about half of this in here. We might actually have to make more. We'll see though. And I'm just gonna go like this. Then I'm gonna go ahead and drain the shrimp. And we'll do the same thing to that. Hmm. I'm a little confused by this recipe because it says when ready to cook, preheat the oven to 350. But then it sounds like from reading the rest of it, you just cook everything in a skillet. But it doesn't, like, it doesn't say put the skillet in the oven. The only mention of the oven, of my, like, thorough skimming, is it just saying preheat it. So we're just going to put everything in the skillet unless I decide otherwise. Okay, so... Melt three tablespoons of butter with one tablespoon olive oil in a skillet set over medium high heat. I'll be right back because I got to clean the pan. It's pretty dirty. All right. So I went ahead and cut up the onion. Um, because it's just the same thing. You don't need to watch me cut a thousand things. I have the onion sauteing over here and then... I'm about to get these all washed up and then I will, whenever these are pretty well done, I'll put the mushrooms in. Because mushrooms don't take very long to cook and they'll get really soggy and way too soft if you put them in for too long. So I'm not going to do that. Let me make a little bit of room over here. And then just ignore the fact that, uh, the, uh, that scared me because I thought the pan was going to be hot. Anyways, just ignore the 
fact that this pan looks like crap. I'm not very good at keeping a cast iron clean. So we're going to go ahead and put our chicken in here to let that start cooking. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and drain those and we'll start mashing the potatoes. So I'm going to go ahead and add the milk, butter, and all the other stuff to it. And then I will mash a little bit more after all that stuff's done. Two tablespoons of butter. One cup of that. We're going to keep this over here just in case we need it. It's like it's absorbing all of the salt because I swear I've put so much salt in there but like you can't taste any salt in it so like I'm not gonna put any more in there because I don't want to like have just a random ass salt pocket in there um, but I'll probably have to salt it whenever I serve it up for just me by the way this is gonna just be my dinners and lunches for like the next week Patrick will probably eat the shrimp and the chicken, but that's about it. I'm going to check back in whenever everything's done. Basically, I'm going to wait for the chicken to get done, the onions and the mushrooms. The potatoes are done. And then after the chicken is pretty well done, I'm going to throw the shrimp into that. Because it's already pre-cooked, so it basically will just need to heat up. And then I'll throw all the stuff together in the pan besides the potatoes, let it cook together, and then that'll be it. Oh, and then I'll set aside some of the shrimp and uh, chicken for Patrick because he's not going to want any of the mushrooms and onions. So, yep, that's it. I'll check back in in a minute. So I got Patrick's taken out, and I added the mushrooms and the onion. And so I just turned up the volume so I can hopefully get some of that liquid cooked out, and then it'll be ready to be served. Okay, so don't worry, this part will be painfully short. Or, <laughs> don't worry, this part will be fairly short. <laughs> I'm just going to try everything on camera because I've never tried this recipe. So I already tried the potatoes. Same opinion. Still needs a little bit of salt because I didn't add any more. My light's flickering. Chicken's pretty good. It's like... Abby's over here baking. It's like a very mild Cajun. Probably because I like spread it between six pieces instead of four. So it's not overly spicy, which is a good thing. And then a little bit of the rest. Oh yeah, the shrimp and the mushroom and onions. Best part. I won't make you guys sit through any more of this, so. Yeah, that's it. Um, I think the recipes turned out pretty good. I will probably forget to put the recipes in the description but I'm sure I could put a picture of them here so I hope you guys like this video if you did leave a thumbs up leave a thumbs down subscribe if you're in tune yeah thanks for watching I'll see you guys in the next one